The blood legacy of Dracula, in the dark corners of Transylvania, where the shadows weave tales of untold horrors and ancient bloodlines, lived a young prince named Vlad Dracul. He was the son of Vlad II, the ruler of Wallachia, a land caught in the crossfire of bitter conflicts between the Ottoman Turks and Christian Europe. Vlad Dracul grew up amidst turmoil, his kingdom always on the verge of falling into the hands of the powerful Turks. From a young age, Vlad Dracul was no stranger to the brutal realities of war and the desperation it bred. His father had struck a precarious peace with the Ottoman Empire, sending his own sons, including Vlad, to the Ottoman courts as hostages to ensure their loyalty. Yet, despite living in captivity, Vlad's spirit remained unbroken. He endured years of forced servitude and assimilation into the Ottoman culture, learning their military tactics and ways of war. However, Vlad never forgot his true identity and the land he was destined to rule. One fateful night, as he stared out of the high palace window, he caught sight of a majestic raven soaring across the moonlit sky. The raven's cry stirred something deep within him, awakening an ancient lineage passed down through his family. Legends whispered of a bloodline blessed or cursed with unnatural powers, a lineage tainted by vampiric origins. As the years passed, Vlad's longing for freedom grew stronger, and he knew that only through cunning and strength could he ever hope to defeat the Turks and claim his rightful throne. Drawing on the darker aspects of his heritage, Vlad began to harness the power of the night, commanding the shadows and the creatures that lurked within. In secret, Vlad forged alliances with neighboring kingdoms and plotted his liberation. When the time was right, he escaped from the Ottoman court, returned to Wallachia, and reclaimed his birthright as the rightful prince. He found his kingdom in turmoil, with the Turks tightening their grip, ready to strike the final blow. As Vlad rallied his people to defend their homeland, he unleashed his newfound powers on the invaders. His strategies were cunning, his attack swift, and the legends of his dark deeds spread like wildfire. The Turkish soldiers began to fear him, referring to him as Vlad the Impaler for his brutal tactics. But the true darkness within Vlad remained dormant, waiting for the right trigger to awaken. It was only when he encountered a group of mysterious beings, night dwellers with an insatiable thirst for blood, that the cursed heritage of his bloodline manifested in full force. These beings, who called themselves vampires, recognized in Vlad a kindred spirit a potential leader among their ranks. Vlad, fascinated by their power and eternal life, accepted their dark gift. The vampire's bite transformed him into something more than human, granting him immortality, strength, and an insatiable craving for blood. With his newfound vampiric abilities, Vlad's prowess in battle intensified, but so did the darkness that consumed him. He relished the taste of blood, and the line between man and monster blurred. The vampire within threatened to overshadow his human self, but Vlad fought to maintain control. The war with the Turks intensified, and Vlad's thirst for revenge grew, drawing him further into the abyss of darkness. His army, fueled by his supernatural powers, became an unstoppable force. In a series of fierce battles, Vlad the Impaler led his troops to victory after victory, pushing back the Turkish invasion. But victory came at a terrible cost. With each battle, Vlad's humanity waned, and he felt an ever-increasing disconnection from the world of mortals. He watched as his allies aged and died, while he remained forever trapped in the twilight of immortality. As the years passed, Vlad's reign as a vampire prince became synonymous with fear and dread. Tales of his ruthlessness and the rivers of blood he spilled spread far and wide ensuring that his name would be remembered throughout history. He became the legend known as Count Dracula, the immortal vampire who walked the night. In the end, Vlad Dracul achieved his vengeance against the Turks and secured his kingdom's independence, but at the cost of his own soul, forever cursed to walk the earth as a vampire. He became a tragic figure, a prisoner of his own dark desires and the legacy of his bloodline. And so, the tale of Vlad the Impaler who became the immortal Count Dracula, was etched into the annals of history, a haunting reminder of the consequences of embracing the darkness within. The blood of the vampire prince would flow through the ages, leaving a chilling legacy.
that would echo in the minds of men for centuries to come.